Warning. This video has some graphic descriptions of death, so just saying I warned you anyway. The Old West was not as glamorous and heroic as some TV shows and movies portray it. It was a harsh and violent place, where law and order were often absent or corrupted, and where people had to struggle for survival against nature, disease, and each other. Among the many dangers of the Old West, there were also some notorious criminals and outlaws who committed heinous acts of murder, robbery, and cannibalism. One of the most infamous and gruesome examples of such a criminal was Levi Boone Helm, also known as the Kentucky Cannibal. Helm was born in Kentucky in 1828 and moved to Missouri with his family when he was young. He married a young woman named Lucinda, but he was abusive and violent towards her and she eventually divorced him. Helm then decided to go to California in search of gold. For the journey to California, Helm asked his cousin, Littleberry Shute, to accompany him. Shute initially agreed, but when he attempted to back out of the trip, an angered Helm murdered him by stabbing him in the chest and headed west alone. He was pursued and captured by Littleberry's brother and friends and convicted of murder but his antics in captivity quickly landed him in a mental asylum. But he escaped and continued his journey westward, killing several more people along the way. Helm joined a group of six men who were also heading to California, and he confessed to them that he had eaten some of his victims. He said, Manny's the poor devil I've killed at one time or another, and the time has been that I've been obliged to feed on some of them and he also claimed that human flesh was sweeter and more tender than any other meat. He soon killed one of his companions, a man named Burton, and ate his liver. The other five men were horrified and left him behind. After teaming up with the notorious Henry Plummer and his gang, Helm and four other gang members were captured, arrested, and tried in secret. At trial, Helm kissed the Bible and then proceeded to perjure himself, accusing three-fingered Jack Gallagher, Helm's close friend and fellow gang member, of crimes Helm himself had committed. The Montana vigilantes hanged Helm, Gallagher, and other members of the gang in Virginia City, Montana, on January 14, 1864, in front of a crowd of 6,000. Helm showed no remorse or fear, and he even joked about his fate. He said, I've lived a hard life, and I'll die a hard death, but I'll be in hell a-jumping before you start breakfast, boys. Helm was the last one to be hanged, and he refused to wear a hood. He shouted, Every man for his principles! Hurrah for Jeff Davis! Let her rip! And then he jumped off the platform, breaking his own neck. Levi Boone Helm was one of the most notorious and horrifying serial killers and cannibals of the Old West. He was a man who had no regard for human life or dignity and who took pleasure in killing and eating his fellow men. He was a monster who showed the dark and brutal side of the Old West, a side that is often ignored or romanticized by popular culture. Boone Helm is one of the many serial killers of the Old West. Please like, share, and subscribe.